Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our PHP admin panel with website the series. So now guys, in this video, we are going to see how to fetch the services on the website. Okay. So as we have seen that in previous two video, we have done with the complete crud of these services and these services only we are going to show in the website. Okay. So now guys, let's get started. Let's move to this services.php. So here is a file. Let's move below to our editor. Let me close everything and go to services.php. So here is a setup. And now guys, let me just copy the banner heading from the contact page. So here is the code and let's tell our services and then again use py5 and add a background bg light start with the container then row let me zoom it little add a column md3 add a margin bottom 3 a bootstrap card dot again shadow where let me add a shadow hyphen sm okay small shadow and now you begin with your card body so before this card body i want to give an image here assets images and then the no image okay so right now i am pasting this but we'll be seeing it so i have just go to assets images and here is one image guys that is called no image let's get back and let's add a class here 100 width and also add a rounded and here you put img and here add a h5 tag okay service name and then a p tag and then open and close div for the a tag that is read more class text hyphen primary okay and here you are going to call your service dot php with the id not id we have a slug inside that service okay so we'll be using that and pasting here so now guys let's save and let's see the output of it let's move back refresh cool so after this row open php close php dollar service query equal to where select all the details from services table and use a where condition status equal to zero all set and now let's run this query guys with the help of mysqli query function where give the database connection and then your query and now guys we need to check if something goes wrong in the query that is inside the if else so here you can mention that in a h5 tag something went wrong and if everything is correct you are going to check whether it has a record or not with the help of mysqli number of rows function is greater than zero so here again copy and paste this else condition paste it and tell no record font okay so if record founts you are going to loop the data let's use for each to loop this so here is my result let's paste here as dollar row so let's close and open php and inside this if condition you are going to paste your column md3 let's control x and paste it okay all done guys so now here you are going to get this let's get this dollar row and print here let's open php and close php and check in a if condition if dollar row of image is not equal to null then print this image else print another image okay so let me use another style of coding guys so you can utilize here directly if just give colon and end php okay 
again open and close php else colon again and and if and here will be semicolon all set so let's paste here copy and paste again now you need to copy this and paste here so let's echo php and paste the image so it calls the path so let me just show you so here by default it is calling the path okay we have already set the path so you don't need to give that and now guys let's so here is the service name add it name and the small description small description the slug guys so here you are going to paste it and tell slug slug is nothing but a url let me just show you in the database so here i have added the name slug and small description so these three details i am showing here and now guys let us see the output refresh okay perfect guys so here you see that the images are long and short so what we'll do we'll set one height for this so here let's add that so i'm adding this style and here also so let me break it so it will be visible clearly okay break it down that let's save guys and now let's see the output refresh perfect and now let us try to see the status part let's edit with the id2 and i'm going to check the status here okay that means it is hidden updated and now let's refresh here perfect so that service also is hidden so let me uncheck it update perfect so now guys here you see that read more option is double m so let's break that okay so here is our column md3 and here we are echoing in a h5 tag but we are inside the row condition open php and close php and add a column md12 and inside that you have to paste this h5 tag let's paste it done so same way for the below also let's copy and paste here and tell something went wrong and paste it save it and now let us see the output okay so let me just uh, status to one so i'll hide both the products and see the output refresh okay so you see that no record found it's showing in this format okay so instead of no record found you can show as no services available okay so it will be user friendly and now guys let's make it to again zero which is visible refresh perfect so now guys let's continue with viewing this services so let's click here and you see that it goes to service.php with the parameter slugged and okay so let's create that also okay let's create the file service.php and include the basic header and footers so let us copy this completely and paste here and let's import the footer part okay added so now guys let's check the slug is available now not using a false condition so with the help of a set function which is coming by the get method here that slug let's copy this slug and paste here okay if the slug is available then you're going to check again this dollar get method slug is double equal to null if he is null then redirect him back to services.php no message just keep it null oops i missed that here and in this else condition you can again redirect back if everything is fine then you are going to get the services details service equal to where so select star from table name services where 
status equal to zero and slug equal to insert single quotes your dollar slug equal to validate function dollar underscore get method of slug now you get the slug variable and check inside your services table and then give a limit one so now guys let's copy this and run with the help of query so create a variable dollar result equal to mysql query function to run the above query so before that give a connection and then pass the query okay so let's see in a if condition whether this is true or not so if anything goes wrong in the query like not then redirect him back to the services.php okay if everything is correct with this help of result variable and showing the detail so let's create one column md8 and here just type h4 tag the open and close php and result of your service name and then the underline class to create a divider and again p tag for the small heading open and close php dollar result of your small description and then the image part so let us copy from the previous code so here is that if false condition let's copy this and paste it okay so let me just align it guys so this is for the image and here we do not require any style so it's going to be in one line okay and then you can give your long description so let me copy this and paste here and tell long description the main description of this services okay so this is the long description you can paste all the contents over here okay so now let's get back give a semicolon and the one thing guys i just want to keep this in one div tag so let me open and close div and add a class and tell margin bottom three so control x and paste let's move front save it okay so save and now guys let's get back and refresh and here you got an error that cannot use the object of mysql result okay so i missed that code guys here we just need to add that dollar result equal to mysql fetch associate dollar result okay and now you can either leave this variable or just rename other variable so i will add row data and replace all this dollar result variable with row data okay so row data and here row data let's save and let me add one card guys card hyphen body shadow hyphen sm let's control x and paste here the complete service in the card now refresh cool so you got this output so here your device let me go back and change this service name update and now refresh so we got an error so why this is error because uh, we have changed the url okay slug uh, why we got this error because we have set the service name as a slug right so whenever you update the service here the slug also changes let me just show you so if you go to service and click now there is no error right so to skip this error guys which you can face in future you can just add a simple line here like if mysqli number of rows is double equal to zero if it is zero then you redirect him back so let me copy this result and paste here if it is record doesn't found then you have to redirect him back so now if you refresh here you see you are redirected back to apple services and you can view it perfect so now guys i just want to show this uh, apple device services on this background let's go back to our vs code and here is the services so guys you just need to copy this code your service name 
and paste it. That's it. And now if you refresh, all set. So now guys, we have successfully completed how to list all the services and view the services. Okay. So guys, let's continue next video with the new topic of inquiry form for this services. So guys, in this video, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.